Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I've already done a video about how to set up your Rex Atmos Core. I will link that video down in the description. So if you haven't watched that, please make sure you watch that one after this one. Uh, this second video is about how to set up your reshade profile after setting up your Atmos correctly. So we want Atmos and reshade to work together to give us the best and the most realistic look possible. Currently, the scene that you're seeing has uh, Reshade and Atmos both enabled. Uh, now, you'll quickly realize when you start fiddling around with the settings is that less is more. You don't need to throw in a bunch of effects just to get the sim looking like it does. Um, right now, at least to me, this looks very convincing. This looks very realistic. It does not have the yellowish uh, tint that the sim usually has and it also has the uh, scattering or haze on the horizon uh, looking really good as well and i'll obviously show you the whole scene in different times of the day and stuff like that i'll also show you how to uh, tune your profile for day and night and it's literally just one click between day and night if you're flying at night when the city lights are on it's just this one amazing click that you have to do and it will completely transform your night looks so anyway let's dive into the video and uh, let's go through it now like i said before atmos is already set up so i'm not going to show you atmos settings in this video if you want to look at my atmos core settings you can uh, look at the video linked in the description okay so let's dive into reshade here and for reshade what i would want you to do is download the sealed sky preset which is on flightsim.to i believe i'll also leave a link to that in my description down below now although that sealed sky pre preset will work kind of work but i have disabled a lot of effects from that sealed sky preset to make it look like it does right now so Let's walk through each one of these. I have Vibrance enabled, I have Technicolor 2 enabled, I have HDR Saturation enabled, Color Temperature, Contrast, Brightness and Saturation. This is all I have enabled for the daytime and uh, I will also quickly scroll through my settings here so that you guys can copy if you want. Uh, but I'll also walk you through what exactly I have changed so that uh, you guys can also fiddle around with the settings because everyone's monitor is different everyone's color tune on the monitor is different so i'm not saying that what i have here is going to work for everyone but what i really want to do in this video is just go through the stuff that i think is needed minimum to fix the sim and then you guys can obviously go around and build your own presets so for hdr saturation i have kept that effect default i haven't changed any values here OK Lab 75 and 100. Saturation, these are my values here. Again, I've left it uh, default. Sorry, this is all HDR saturation. So these are my values here. I have not changed anything. Second one is color temperature. For this one, the main setting is this color temp K. OK, by default, the sim is going to look something like this. OK, which is kind of on the yellow side which is exactly what we want to fix with reshade. Now, Atmos really doesn't do that well. I use Atmos mainly for the haze on the horizon and that's all I really want to use Atmos for. I want to leave all the other color corrections and stuff to reshade because reshade really does that well and it's free. Okay, so color temperature, I would tune it up to somewhere around 10,000 it really depends uh, on your monitor again, like I said, but a value of around 10,000 should work right if, if you have tuned your monitor colors correctly, I believe, right? So I have left it at somewhere around 10,000. Uh, don't go too high on this because that's going to make your sim look really blue, which is what we don't want. We want that subtle removal of yellows and that's all we really care about so keep it somewhere in 10 11 000 and that should work for you and you can fiddle around with this no change to lumens preservation and mix with original all you need to do here is change this setting okay now contrast brightness and saturation 
The only things that have really changed is minus 0.34 on exposure because we know that MSFS can be a little too exposed. So if you go lower and lower, it's going to get darker and darker, which some people might prefer. So you might want to go lower on this if you really think that uh, it looks very exposed to you. Uh, but there again, remember, uh, when you decrease exposure like this, what you will see is now when I switch to the cockpit, the cockpit becomes really dark. So you might want to tune it while being in the cockpit and, you know, switching to the outside view. So although this looks really good to me, I love some contrast in the world. Although there's, uh, there's less contrast in real world if you look at the photos. Uh, but yeah, you can tune this to your liking. I leave it somewhere between, I think, minus 0.4 or 0.5. So that's that and then contrast level is set to 0.354 you can bump it up if you really want again if you really want the blacks to kind of pop out but the same thing like i said for exposure if you increase your contrast if you go into the cockpit the cockpit will become really dark now as i reduce the contrast you'll see how the how the how the text in the shadows start popping out right and that's what we want. We want the contrast high enough to darken the blacks, but not too high so that it completely hides everything that's in the shadows. So leave it somewhere between 0.3 and 0.5 is what I think works really well for me. Uh, brightness, saturation and vibrance, I haven't changed any of those here. Uh, nothing changed here. These, these, this is all the same hue range selection. I don't believe I've changed this, but let me just quickly verify and I'll go back to our original scene and let me see real quick. So I have it at 0.262. Yeah, this doesn't change things a whole lot. Yeah, I think I, I, I think I, you can leave this one to default aqua saturation uh just to you know dumb down the saturation a tad bit because the sim can look a little bit oversaturated most of the times so i dumb down the saturation through this aqua saturation uh so that's uh that's pretty much it here i haven't changed anything on any of these settings now in technicolor this is where you really want to change your saturation so brightness you can either leave it at one or bump it up just a tad bit to compensate for the exposure kill that you've had up top and then saturation you can pretty much tune it to your liking again i would suggest that you go into the cockpit uh, while you're tuning saturation because if you tune the saturation too high cockpit is where is where you will actually see the colors go off from reality so I would say just make it one and then reduce it by maybe a tad bit so that things look real enough, but not, you know, completely um, like black and white, closer to black and white. We want less saturation, but not too less. So I would say leave it at some, somewhere around like 0.84 or something. I think that works fine. Yeah, these are all my settings uh, I keep fiddling around with them and that's why I didn't want to just provide you guys the file and I can do that actually or you can just copy it from here I can provide the file whatever you know I'll, I'll leave a link down below maybe I'll upload it somewhere um, but yeah what I really want to convey from this video is uh, how to actually tune it right because everyone's setup is different saturation strength and then vibrance this is where i dumb down the saturation a tad bit as well so if you go to default vibrance you will see mainly i want you to concentrate on this red right here okay so you see how these lines are kind of merging in and they're not looking very defined now when i reduce it you will see how it starts to get nice and defined and this is probably just me i don't know but as I reduce this, you'll see that the shadows start popping a bit more and the line gets more defined. Basically, it says vibrance, but it's really, you know, contrast plus vibrance kind of thing. And maybe if I decrease it a, a lot, you'll probably see. 
but again yeah, default value is somewhere higher here which is which is not realistic at all i would put it somewhere in the negative uh negative 0.15 or something so you see how i'm just you know going by how it looks it, it's not a fixed value that i'm recommending it just really depends on how you feel uh, your sim looks versus how you want it to look right so these are all my reshade settings now let's move on to the night setting that really changes the game i'm not saying that the night looks bad by the way um uh, clouds look amazing right now now i'm not saying that the night looks bad with this base reshade profile you can still use this reshade profile at night as well you'll be fine uh and i can demonstrate that to you now let me first go to like some twilight time just to show you guys how amazing this profile looks look at that guys especially with atmos core now where it does this realistic haze it looks absolutely stunning and i can keep reducing the time here and show you like different phases of sunrise just looks amazing look at this maybe some late morning shots here looks really good look at that look at that cloud lighting amazing all right now let's move on to night so i'm going to turn this thing to pitch black okay so this is our night and as you can see it doesn't look too bad at all and what i'll also do is maybe i'll go in and start my batteries and connect the apu just to show you guys that uh, even at night this thing looks stunning there is no problems at all but the secret sauce is what we really want so looks absolutely stunning at night okay now let's go over the secret sauce here and that secret sauce guys is the hyper blur it took a while for me to find this thing but when i scrolled enough i found this amazing amazing fx which when you enable you can now control the bloom or the blur around the lights okay now i have it at point 1 but you can go really crazy with this you can make it like point 3 or something and you see how everything just pops up it looks stunning i really love the way it looks because usually at night there is this little bit of blur around any light that you see in the city and I, i i can't explain the concept of it but i guess when you're looking at this you would see it right so let me cycle it real quick and you'll see how how much better it gets so let me turn this down to maybe 0.15 that's what i usually use but then again it depends on how dramatic i'm feeling uh, if i'm feeling really dramatic i would probably go 0.2 uh if i'm feeling less dramatic i would probably go 0.1 okay so hyper blur off hyper blur on looks stunning and there is this kind of shimmering of lights going on which is also what you will see in real world flying videos that the city lights are not totally stationary there is some shimmer going on there's some lights turning off and on it really doesn't simulate that obviously but it does add some kind of shimmer to the lights too i don't know what that effect is called but you get the point so yeah this looks amazing it looks amazing and uh, again doesn't spoil anything inside the cockpit the cockpit still looks really good no problems at all and if you turn on the if you turn on the uh the bright flood lights it still looks amazing so yeah anyone who tells you that uh, you need to have different atmos profiles and different uh reshade profiles for day and night stuff like that you really don't i wanted to make this video so that i can help you guys uh you know fall in love with the sim again it looks stunning i know there are problems with this sim but i don't know man 
just the way this sim has been looking i've been i've been flying quite a bit after uh, atmos core released and after i started using reshade so yeah just wanted to share it with you guys uh, hope you guys um, enjoyed the video and if you did please make sure you like the video it really helps the channel more than you think and i would also appreciate if you can give a quick subscribe to the channel that helps a lot as well uh, with both you know growing my channel and also with the motivation to uh, keep these videos going i don't earn anything from these videos it's purely to just uh, help the community out in uh, improving their sim experience so yeah that's all i had for this video i will see you guys on the next video or on the next live stream